Hey guys, it's Yolanda Winnie from Southern Charm and I'm here to do a small haul. I ordered a few products from BH Cosmetics, hit Walgreens and Walmart, and then ordered a decorative item for the room, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And you like my little wig? I thought I'd try a little blonde. My sister actually talked me into getting this. And just for the winter, you know, it's a um, protective style. I don't know if blonde is me. You know, I don't mind a little bit of blonde like I had before, but this is, ooh. But I thought I'd give it a try in the video and see how I looked playback. So let's get started with the stuff that I got locally from Target. And I did kind of dip into this and use it. I have the cleaning towelettes. It's the exfoliating towelettes and it's apricot. And I love these. I first grabbed it from my sister's when I was in her area because I forgot my makeup remover wipes. Grabbed this and I love it. Um, and you can feel the bead. So they definitely are worth it. So I wanted to grab another one when I ran out. And let's see, what else did I get from Target? I grabbed a bunch of hair samples from Target. And they're all from the same line. The first one is the um, ORS Olive Oil Repair Replenishing Pack. It's a deep conditioner. I thought I'd give this a try for my natural hair, my own hair. And then the other thing that they had was a mousse, um, a wrap setting mousse. Same line. I, they just had a little pack. Instead of buying the whole bottle, I could see if I liked the little pack. And then the last thing was a moisturizing hair lotion. And they had this... Uh, Target. They had a bunch of little samples and I thought that was pretty good. And then from Walmart, I only purchased two things. I bought the L'Oreal um, Eversleek Sulfate Free Smoothing System and I'm trying to see if there's anything special about this one. It's for frizzy unruly hair. I don't think I have frizzy unruly hair, but it's sulfate free. And so that's why I got it. So I have the shampoo and the conditioner and I have purchased this before. And I, because I was looking for a sulfate free shampoo, and I like it. I'm not in love with it, but it does the job. The thing is, you have to use twice as much because it's sulfate free to actually feel like your hair is clean. So that's mm, that's a negative to it. So I'm trying to find something else. I the sulfate free shampoo that I normally use, which is the cream of nature with Moroccan argan oil. I really love that, but I want to see if there's other things out there. So this is um, my second purchase of that. And then the rest of the things I got from Walgreens. First is a Wet n Wild Blackest Eyeliner Pencil. And this is the waterproof and it's the mechanical or um, retractable. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Retractable eyeliner pencil. I'm not going to open this because I have like tons of other ones. But they're not waterproof and I'm constantly during the day having to go in the crease of my eye to get the little water smudges from my eye eyeshadow. So I'm trying to hurry up and use those up so I can grab this. But I wanted to purchase it since Walgreens had it on sale for 68 cents. And then the other two things that I purchased from Walgreens are eyebrow pencils. Um, the first one is darkest brown and then the next one is called um, taupe. And if I stick with the blonde, I thought I needed a taupe pencil to kind of get my eyebrows to go taupey. I have the darkest brown eyeshadow pencil. And I told you guys I use this all the time for my, my um, regular eye. Look how long this is. And then where's the one that I used up? Oh, well, it's about this long. So that, I mean, you know, other than the fact you have to sharpen it and I feel like you lose product that way, I really love what my eyebrow pencils. And the fact that they stay during the summer when the heat is like melting most stuff is a bonus. I picked up a sponge, a beauty blender sponge from their um, Walgreens line, Studio 35th Beauty. So, because my last one just pretty much bit the dust. And then I saw this. This is from Colorworks and there are three gel or cream eyeliners. And let's open this up. This one is the black one. It is hard to open these little suckers. So that's what it looks like inside. And that's the black. I'll let you know if this runs. That's the blue one. You can see where I tried to use my finger, but you're definitely going to have to do a few dips into it to get the color out. This is the brown. No, the brown was really soft. I mean, I barely 
put the brush in it. That's the brown, I'm sorry, that's what the brown looks like. And then you can see it right there. And the middle one is black, but next to the blue, it's starting to look bluish black. But that's the brown. And then the last one is green. And this is what green looks like inside its pot. That's green. Now those are some pretty big swatches, so hopefully I don't have to use a lot to get the look that I want. But I thought $2, you're getting four cream eye eyeliners. Or, so I thought it was, it's worth a try. It's only $2. So that is everything that I purchased at Target, Walmart, and Walgreens. The next thing is what I got from BH Cosmetics and purchased two brush sets from BH Cosmetics. So the first set I purchased looks like this. And I'm going to open this. So let me take out the little shells. This is what they look like for the eyeshadow ones. I thought it has a gold tip. Those are pretty cool. But here are the brushes that I got. And I needed brushes for applying my foundation because I like to use brushes like this. A flat top brush to do my foundation. And so there were two One's flat and one's angled, and then they've got these other three. I thought, um, push comes to shove, I could use these also to do foundation, but hopefully these won't be shedding on me anytime soon. But they feel really soft. I'm trying to see if I don't see any hairs that are loose. And they're synthetic and are micro, microfiber. So I'll let you know how these turn out. And then the other brush set that I purchased, Nitra B actually had recommended these. And I thought I'd give it a try. And this is what it looks like. Um, these are on sale for $19.95 through the BH Cosmetics. And they have the rose gold one. I love the little case. I'm not going to lie to you. This is so cute. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's faux leather. But I love still how it looks. And it came with 16 brushes. It's like a bronze look with a rose gold funnel. What do you call these things? The little metal part? I don't know. But I'll definitely be washing these and letting you know what I think about BH Cosmetics brushes and if it is worth it or not. But I'm definitely excited about having some new brushes to do makeup looks. And then the last two items. Sorry, there are three. The last two items that I purchased from BH Cosmetics, the first one is a little applicator to help me apply my false lashes. This is what it looks like in its little plastic container. I am trying to get better at wearing false lashes. I truly suck at it and I want to improve my game. And the tweezers that I have are my tweezers when I'm trying to pluck my eyebrows. And I thought I might need to get separate tweezers to help apply the false lashes on. So I saw this on BH Cosmetics website and I thought this is pretty cool. So it has, you can see that where you can grab the lashes and apply it. And then at the end it has a little thing where you can press it onto your eyes. It does have little covers for them to keep it closed. But this was $1.989. So I didn't think that was, and you can get it in either pink or purple. You know, I got pink. It's girly. So I'm looking forward to seeing if that really works. The next thing I purchased is a Studio Matte Finishing Press Powder. You know, I'm oily all over. And I thought that this would be a great pressing powder. The only thing is, I don't know if I got the right shade. Because the, when you look at the photos, you're thinking, there was two that I was on the fence about. So... I chose number 240, um, but I will let you know if it's close. It has a mirror, and then this is the powder. And I'm hoping that it's not too light. If it is, I'll just use it the same way I use the Revlon Nearly Naked and Medium Deep as just a daily highlighter. And it does have a sponge. So I'll let you know about this and if 240 is my shade. And then the last thing from BH Cosmetics, I purchased the Forever Nude. And it's so funny, is after I purchased it, I saw that What Would Lindsay Do had a review on it. And she loved it. And she chose the deep shade as well. And this is a contour and contour highlighting and blush. So this is what it looks like once it's outside the little box. 
and it has a mirror at the top but here are the shades and so hopefully medium deep will work on my skin tone but I'm looking forward to doing more contouring and you know I wanted to try more blushes so I have that that's it guys for my small haul from BH Cosmetics, Walgreens, Walmart and Target um, in regards to the BH Cosmetics let me know if it's a really good line I have an eyeshadow palette from them that I dip into every once in a while but that's pretty much it so this will be my first purchase from BH Cosmetics because the eyeshadow palette that I have I got as a birthday gift last year so I'm actually looking forward to trying this thank you again for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye